happily they marched to war. They were certain that victory and peace would come quickly. But the war quickly became a conflagration that burned all over Europe and beyond. There were battlefields in colonies, including what was then German East Africa. By the time it was over, 14 million people had been killed. The lesson for German Chancellor Angela Merkel is that governments should never repeat the same mistakes. That's why I have a very strong view on the situation in Crimea. Territorial integrity is the pillar of European post-war order. If one starts to say this or that used to belong to a certain country, and if one simply seizes it, then we're going to end up in an unbelievable calamity. Merkel visited the exhibition together with young people from all over Europe. It gave some a chance to learn how the war affected their families. I asked my grandmother as I was preparing for this event. She told me incredible stories. The entire generation of her grandparents was affected by the First World War. It devastated the family. And nobody knew until I asked her. It doesn't necessarily loom in the memory, but it's there. It's just been forgotten. Organizers hope that the far-reaching effects of the war will be better understood. The ideologies that shaped the 20th century were born in the First World War. Communism, fascism, national socialism, all of them came out of the war. 1915 saw the first attack using poison gas. Images like these prove that the exhibition is all too relevant today.